We have a calcified cyst here. You can see it's a good 1.5 centimeters right on the eyebrow. And you can see it poking through there. Now, there was a small removal before and it came back as a calcified cyst, but commonly, as we know, those regrow. So we're gonna go just a little bit wider here and try to kind of get that out, flush it out a little and make sure we get every little bit. And we're gonna do that today. Hey guys, Greg Lynch, Dern Pia here, Mr. Pop said we're gonna be doing as I showed you all earlier, a pretty firm pilomatrix oma that was removed months ago, but has regrown. Just gonna do a tiny wedge cut there and we'll bring that eyebrow together. So hopefully she won't really have any hair growth disruption. You can see that uh -huh. lido as we put around the eye really puffs up the skin a little bit. That'll all reabsorb in the next two hours. Around the eye can tend to bleed pretty good. We do just a little wedge cut here. That is good. Do a little bit of dissection. Let's see here if we can lift that up. Just under the skin. You can see little bits of calcium coming out already there. Sometimes a little pressure and they'll pop right out. Hmm, looks like little pebbles you can see in there. The little calcifications, kind of like little rocks. That's why they're so, they're very firm. And that's why they're so painful, these little calcifications form. Let's see how many of those we have. I can see a chunk right there. Mm. Little pressure and no pain really, just pressure. You can see these little calcifications there, very hard. There we go, you can see these popping out. Not really encapsulated all that much, just kind of a little ball of them. But I do see one main kind of nugget right there. I'm gonna see if we can get that out as a sack. Yeah, it's, it's coming out. Yeah. It's a little sack of pebbles, really. You can see there, we can squeeze them out. Let me just dab them if I'll do that. See those kind of build up there. Feels kind of funny. No pain, yeah. just even up to here. Yeah, well, you have a, a nerve over here that mm. facial nerve kind of comes across. Mm -hmm. And this has been extremely tender for you. Oh, it has. Because these are kind of growing down on the eyebrow and pushing against tender, tender spots there, mm -hmm. tender areas. So sometimes you'll get some, you know, nerve pain, basically. Well, you forget it there and you wash your face and, oh. Yeah. What's interesting about this one is we're not getting much of a sack. It's just like not encapsulated. It's a bunch of little tiny multiple um, calcifications, which I've seen before. It's an atypical presentation of these, but you can see all these come out as we press on it. Pedometricoma. Little pressure. Very good. Like little stones. We got most of those out, which is good. Oh, I got those out. I can kind of look in this little pocket here for any encapsulation, which there might be a little tiny sack there. A lot of times the sack ruptures, or there isn't a sack even sometimes. We're going to see.
right there. That looks like a bit of sack. And the base of it there too. I'm gonna do my scissors on this one. No pain? Uh, Just a little pressure and pull in you'll feel it down. Never had any tooth problems or anything uh, recently? No. Good. There we go. A little deep calcification there. Dab one more time for me, see if we can get that one. A little bit. There we go. Perfect. There's some embedded calcifications kind of deep down. I'm trying to pop out for you here. We get every one of those. Hopefully this won't return. And that is the goal. Feel on the bottom of the sack. There, possibly. Dab a little bit for me. Right there. A little bit, so it looks like partial sack there. Kind of fibrous. See a little more right there. Boy, it just falls apart though when I grab it. Okay. Okay. So that's the fascia right there at the bottom. Kind of a little white right there. Some of these little remnants could be wall. But it's looking good. It's looking like an empty pocket. I don't see any white calcifications in there. Just a little bit of this opaque kind of clear sack. Make sure down there's one little white right there we gotta get. Dab one more time. Right there. Those little two buddies trying to stick around. <laughs> You're doing great. I know this was so tender even before we started, and we're putting a pretty good bit of pressure, so you're nice and numb, which is good. Mm -hmm. One more right there. I'm going to kind of turn out on the edges here, make sure we're nice and clear. Looks good. There's a bit. Nice, that's looking good. You can see when we turn all that out, no calcifications. That's just connective tissue kind of down deep all the way up. Same on this side and same right there. Turn it inside out, that's normal skin. It's looking pretty good. One last one deep there, let me just check. None of those little pebbles are hanging out. Looks like possible bottom part of the sack right there. Good, yep. That was the bottom part. You can see right there, very nice. So what we'll do is bring that together. See, she has a little dog ear there. We're gonna just fix right here. Perfect. A couple small, very small stitches, and that should not come back. Good. Yeah, I'm pressing pretty hard. Might be one more right there. <laughs> Look at that. That was hiding pretty well, too. Really press that tissue. 
These are just hard as a rock. Let me get um, a Q-tip if you can. There's those two tiny pebbles. Cotton-tipped applicators, a lot of people say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a little tiny bit of sack right there and that's what was hiding that little bump so that last bit and we'll be done we'll grab that right there ha look at that that was just completely hiding that big bump right there sack right there that was the bottom part. You lost this hide and seek. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, hide and seek in the eyebrow, huh? <laughs> that actually had a couple micro bits in there of calcified cyst as well, so that's good. That was right up under here. So that looks like all normal tissue now. Just want to make sure. Okay, that's fat tissue there, that's okay. That's what we wanna see. Here. Possibly a little bit of sack there, and that's the last I see right there. So we'll grab that. I'm really trying to get everything for you because I know that was a hassle that you yes. had this done before and it didn't go away all the way. We're a lot deeper this time. Good. Sack one in there. And call it every time. Perfect. So no more pebbles. No pain? No. You're doing great. Okay. Very thorough unpacking of the pebble cyst. <laughs> now just a couple little stitches and we're done, okay? You did great. Okay. Little fascia bite right there. Always want to align. A little bite there. Okay, so we want that. Side looks good. One more at the top. We'll cut it all the way down to the knot. Perfect. And we cut a little wedge of tissue out there because you could see the kind of pebbles pushing through and thinned out the skin a little bit so that skin wouldn't have closed well. So we cut that off. Mini bites here. Very good. And let's see if we get the aversion. We oh beautiful. Dab of pressure. <laughs> Too much pressure. <laughs> That's okay. It pulled through. It's yeah, you just cut. Well, that's okay. They're little mini bites, so even a little bit of pressure. Um, kind of pulls through sometimes. You get one strike, not two. Ah, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was with the doctor, I would do that. Good. Totally. Would strike guys. Hey, what are you really? Yeah. I'm quite really. No, I mean, we just do, we'll do a light dab because that fascia is so, it's been so thin and I'm taking such small bites that that can happen. I say take two bites out. Yeah. Oh, what is it? It's good learning experience. <laughs> That's good.
our bite was pretty thin on this side, so it's just thin tissue too. Go gentle, gentle. It did close nice though. Let's see if it closes that good again. <laughs> just like edit. If not, we can blame you. Ah, yeah, this is good. No, just use a little bit of that video with the other one. Almost. I got to go a little bit bigger bite there. It disrupts the tissue a little too. When we go through so many times. There we go. It's a game of half millimeters here. I usually like a smaller needle too. That's not helping at all. A big needle. So, very light dab. A little bit more than that. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> She's gonna have baby gloves on now. She's like, I'm not touching it. No. Very nice. Still got a good coming together. Right down at the base. And then we'll do a little, just light pressure down. Very good. That's what I wanted to see here. A little eversion from our deep sutures. Playing tricky on me, huh? Yeah, I don't like that overlap, so we're gonna have to touch that. Too simple, Evan. Simple. Cut both here. Here, that's not bad. We can get that, fix that with this suture. that puffiness will go down once the light is out as well. to details everything I don't like that it's puckered over a little I want to pull that out more and I think it's a little bit of my deep suture doing that but I'll be able to even that out Too many chances because we're running on the suture here. <laughs> That's come down. That's good. Let's see here. That's nice and flat. Good. I like it. So just a little 1.5 centimeter and they should grow hair all around that. She should. 
I like it. A lot of this is just puffiness from the lidocaine. She was so tender, you could bet you couldn't even touch down here on that side. And I understand why she had a sack of pebbles in there. It looked like those little calcified cysts. So we'll get those three stitches out. We're going to put a little pressure bandage on there, just a small one, and we'll get those stitches out in seven to nine days. Usually I'll do for that. So we'll go from there. That looks good. Okay. Watching. That was a pretty unique cyst. Um, even for a calcified cyst, they uh, they're usually not as separated into a lot of little tiny ones like that and loose. Sometimes they're more congealed together. This one was literally just like a sack of rocks in there. So we got them all out and literally flushed. And there was a couple even hiding. I got the the deep part of the what used to be what looked like a cyst wall. So we got that out and she's going to do a lot better with way less pain. So thanks for popping by. Hey guys, Mr. Popsy here. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get a notification when the next video is coming out because I got a lot of content coming your way. Thanks for popping by.